Hey everyone, I just want to say thanks for clicking on this video. Now, let me jump into it. So today, I decided to share with you one of my OCs for an upcoming comic I am making. She doesn't have a name yet, but I am just going to call her Red for now. You'll understand further throughout the video, or you've seen the thumbnail. She has red hair. So, like I said, she's going to be appearing in a comic I'm making. Her introduction is going to be so fun to draw. <laughs> it might honestly make me cry. I'll put a little image of the first character as well. Um, her name is Kim. And the story starts with Kim hitting Fred with her car. I won't go into much more detail about the plot wise because I'm still trying to work that out currently. But yeah. Another thing I want to say is her design in this video will probably not be her final design. She like she's definitely gonna have a mullet because there's not enough characters that have mullets. She's also definitely gonna have red hair, but that's pretty much about it. The only concrete things I have for her currently. Pretty much that's also the same with Kim. I'm not 100% sure whether or not Kim will end up looking how she does. And only time will tell as I continue to do further exploration of the characters and do their character sheets and stuff, more stuff like that. Originally, I wasn't planning on uploading this video. I was gonna do another video where I did some Wings Club fan art and talked about the horribleness that is Netflix's Fate A Wink Saga. Yeah, so not looking forward to that. Um, I will still be making that video in the future, but I couldn't, I couldn't like force myself to do that. So it will be done in the future instead. Hopefully the video after this one. Because I definitely do want to do some Winx fan art, but just my brain is just like, erase the horribleness that is the teaser trailer from your life. Like, well, probably would be a good idea to talk more about the art. At this stage in the video, I'm dropping down the colours that I do. I don't know, maybe my process is weird. Is like I do a sketch, then I put flats underneath my sketch, and then I'll either do a second sketch, second lot of flats, or I will do the line art, then do a brand new layer of flats, or just fix up the flats from the sketch layer so it works with the line art, which is what I ended up doing for this video. Back on to Procreate, haven't used this in a while. I now have my computer set up properly that I can do, um, I can use Clip Studio Paint, which I wasn't able to before because my laptop sucked and so did my setup. But I now have a proper setup, my desk is here, got my, a bigger screen, my phone is trying to get me to install an update. <laughs> um, Sorry about that. Um, yeah, like a bigger screen. I've got my little tablet. So, should be expecting more videos from Clip as well. I want to do a mix because while I like Procreate, I feel like I can do more with Clip. Like, my for the comics, that will definitely be done on Clip. I won't be doing that on Procreate because I don't feel like Procreate is built for comics, which it's not. It's a drawing app. Yeah, there's like the ability to create them, but Clip Studio Paint has massive webcomic features that Procreate just doesn't have. I won't mind in the future making a video about the differences between Clip and Procreate, but at today's date, that's not probably going to happen for a while. Probably won't be on my list till next year. 
talk about next year. Let's hope 2021 is better than 2020. Uh, my goal, YouTube-wise, for 2021 will be to make uploads more consistently. I know I keep on droning in videos how I'm going to be like, oh yeah, next video, next week, but that doesn't happen. It's just motivation. I need more. So hopefully, I won't promise, but hopefully you will be getting another video next week. And with that, we're almost out of time. So I'll be saying, toodaloos guys.